What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode on the Truck Central YouTube channel. This is going to be an awesome video for you guys today, very informative because I'm going to be reviewing three different Tanu covers for my truck. Now before we get into the video and before we start everything, I want to take the time to thank Realtruck.com for sending us these three Tanu covers over here. You can get anything on their website from tonneau covers to steps to lighting accessories, anything from the interior. You can even search by brand. So they have a lot of stuff on the website. Definitely check them out. Uh, but right now I have these three tonneau covers and we've already sort of unboxed them as you can see. Basically it's going to start from the most affordable option to the most expensive option. All three of them are from Gator. So real quick here, I'm just going to go through each cover and tell you guys the differences in all of them and the prices. So this is the Trifold SFX Soft cover and this one starts at around 250 bucks it's the most affordable option of the three it has a tear resistant vinyl top as you can see so this one has the bigger support bows for like heavy rain if you get bad weather you know like hail or snow it'll actually support it and won't rip through the cover it has what they call a speed clamp so when you lock the cover it, it automatically locks it's not hard to do now this one also says i think it installs in like 10 minutes so it's probably the quicker installation of the three I don't know yet because we haven't installed all of them, but I'm just guessing by the looks of it. It doesn't come with a lot to do. It just has your weather stripping right here and the cover. And it has a few clamps to clamp it on the back of the truck. And this one in particular is cool because it comes with a limited lifetime warranty on the structural part of it. So like the bars and everything but it has a 10 year warranty on the vinyl top. That's pretty cool, 10 year warranty on this thing. Now all these Gator covers have a 60 day guarantee. So if you don't like the cover in 60 days, within 60 days, you can swap it out for something different. So that's really cool that Gator comes with that. Now coming to the second um, Tanu cover, and I think I'm saying it right, maybe I'm not. It's Tanu or Tano, I don't know. I guess it depends on what region you live in in the US or the world. I'm just gonna call it a Tanu cover. So. This one here is the uh, Gator FX, and this is the first hard top, I should say hard cover of the three. So this one in particular costs a little bit more. It's about $800 and up. It starts at $800, so depending on your truck bed length, I'm sure it gets more expensive. I have the six foot, six inch bed length, so I kind of have the middle bed length. So this one was about $800. Um, it is aluminum. It's made of aircraft aluminum. It uh, has a no drill install, so you don't have to drill under your bed or anything like that, which is nice. It gives you full bed access when it's open too, so it doesn't like cover half the bed. When you open it all the way, it gives you full bed access, which is good. It can support up to like 300 pounds, so you can put evenly distributed 300 pounds on this cover and it'll be fine. It has buckle straps too, so you can have it open like two thirds of the way while you're driving and it's still okay. And this one comes with a two year warranty and that's it, that opposed to like the 10 year on the uh, cheaper cover. So that's the mid-grade level. Comes with your rails here, as you can see, some weather stripping, some other parts there that we haven't gotten into yet. So this third one here is kind of like the uh, cream of the crop, the uh, cherry on top, the big kahuna of all three of them. It is the Gator MX. This is a full hard cover and it starts at about $1,750. So this is a big, big, significant jump in price about a thousand dollars more than the the mid-grade model but when you look at this cover you can tell why it's that expensive it's all aluminum um, it's nicely put together it actually has this finish on it that's like a scratch resistant sort of bed liner finish but it looks nice it's not like rough or anything like that they call it a matte finish it's very durable it has a smooth ball bearing operation in the rails which is pretty intense for a uh, tonneau cover. It has nearly full bed access when it's open all the way. So again, you can access the entire bed when you have it open. Not only is it functional, but the thing about this is it looks good. So it has a low profile design, as opposed to the other two where it's like you can see it and it's kind of sticks up a little bit. This one is very low profile. What it seems to me is it's probably gonna look like it came on the truck from the factory, like this is made for the truck. This one also is cool because it locks in any position. So the other ones you kind of fold over, you only have so much difference. So you can have like two thirds open, one third open or open all the way. Whereas this one, literally you can lock it in any position. It also can support up to 500 pounds, which is the most out of all three of them. So that's pretty wild. And it comes with a three year warranty. So this one has another year warranty as opposed to the middle 
the middle grade option. Even with a three year warranty, this thing looks like it's built really, really nice. Now this one is also the heaviest of all three too. Not that it really matters, because let's be honest, we're putting on a truck, not a race car, but <laughs> this um, is the more heavier option if you guys are concerned about weight in the bed. So now that we have gone over all three models, we're gonna start the installation with the uh, most affordable option model, the, the Gator SFX cover. I'm gonna do a quick time lapse on all three of these. I'm not gonna go through the whole installation and explain everything to you guys, but if I do find something that's kind of worth mentioning during the install, I'll make a note of that after. So with that being said, let's get started. So, just completed the installation for the first time to cover and they said it took 10 minutes, they were wrong. It only took five minutes. Extremely easy to install. First you start with the tailgate down and if you notice under here, there's no hardware used. It's literally just clamps. You got two clamps in the back and two clamps in the front. The two clamps in the back are the ones that are stationary. They stay there. Um, and then the ones in the front here, if you want to fold it back, all we do is do like that. It locks in. Pull the other one down. It's just on a spring. It's a spring-loaded clamp. Just like that. And then it's a tri-fold. So it folds back. Now, the only negative to this one is it's either all the way closed or all the way open. You can't have it halfway like this. You have to fold it all the way back. And then it does come with latches here. So you can latch it in both places, as you can see. This doesn't come up anymore. It's always gonna stay on the truck. So if you wanna have the bed open while you're driving, you're only gonna get two thirds of the bed open. I think the pros outweigh the cons on this in the fact that it's easy to install, like super easy. So you can you could probably just take it off. Instead of folding it up into a third, you can just take the whole thing off, really simple. So if you don't want it on the bed at all, it's easy to take off. It does seal very nice. They do provide extra weather stripping here for your tailgate, because your factory tailgate doesn't have any seal. They provide that if you don't want to get any water in the bed. When your bed is closed like that, you can't really pull it up and get anything in here. Like it, it does protect whatever in the bed from like theft, but somebody could take a razor blade and cut this top if they wanted to. It's not really completely theft proof. So if you're looking for a theft proof cover, this is probably not a good option for you. But if you just want a simple cover to keep the weather and rain out, this is probably your best option. This is the most affordable option out of all three of them. It's the lightest option too and easiest to install. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uninstall and take off this cover and then we're gonna go to the second cover, the Gator FX. Alrighty, so just installed the second Tanu cover. This is again the Gator FX. This is the first hard uh, cover that we've installed. And as you can see, just by looking at it, it's a little bit sleeker because it sits a lot lower. And one thing um, I quickly noticed after installing it was the fact that I was still able to use the hand grips here to get up on the truck. Those of you guys that don't know, these holes here are actually functional. Therefore, putting your hand in here and getting up onto the truck bed. So I like the fact that that was still accessible. And also I have these like carbon fiber Chevy letters that I put in there, obviously just an added touch, but I can still see those. Whereas the first cover, it covered pretty much most of that right there. Quick operation of the, of the cover, first impressions, I really do like it. We're gonna put the tailgate down real quick and see how that this thing operates now. First you grab one or both of them, it doesn't really matter, but there's two wires you just pull down and then that releases the locks. Then you lift up and it just kind of folds over itself like that. And then you have a second set right here. You can pull down, go back. As you can see, exposing however much bed you want. Now from here, you can drive with it like this. All you need to do is unlatch your clips and you can clip into right here and tighten it up. So you can drive with the cover as is. So I'd probably say this is like two thirds open. Now, if you want it all the way open to drive with, you can do that as well. All you have to do here is open the cover the whole way. They also provide, before I uh, open it up, they provide a, a nice pad strip here you can put on so you don't hit your glass and damage it. It rests up against there like that. And you'll see why that's needed here in a second. So if you want to drive with it all the way open, they have these nice bars 
that you go up through here. And what that does is that locks them so the cover itself doesn't move anywhere. You have another one over here, which you can also do. And then you can drive with the cover open. The only issue is obviously you can't see out of the rear window. There is that, but if you needed to drive with it open for like a short distance or something, you could. So that's nice. Now they do provide these this tubing, which for video and installation sake, we did not install. There's a hole under here <clears throat> that you put the tubing in and then you take this little cover out on your truck bed. And what that does is allows the water to drain, I think in the rail here. So they don't get, collect water in this rail. It'll drain then through and down through your truck onto the road. So they give you two tubes, one for each side. Other than that, that's honestly pretty much it. As far as the installation goes, all you need is a socket wrench to tighten the uh, brackets here. As you can see, there's three on each side and they tighten to your the lip of your, of your bed. Now for certain trucks, you may have to shim it so it's level. For the Silverado, we didn't have to do that, which is nice. It does provide a list in the instructions of the trucks that you need to shim. It was a pretty fairly easy install. The nice thing about this model, like I said before, is it's, it's a hard cover. They just click in just like that. They latch really nice, not much to it. And that's it. Pretty easy to use, pretty functional. So now that we've installed the second cover, we'll take this one off and we'll install the third one and see how that goes. Alrighty, so tonneau cover number three, the Gator MX has now been installed. It took a little while to install. This was definitely the harder one to uh, get put together only because it requires two people. It is the heaviest one as well. The entire structure, the entire rolled up portion of the cover is one whole piece. And then the rails come separate as well as the back finishing rail with like the weather stripping. So like those are easy, but like you have to assemble the entire thing before you even put it on the truck bed. Whereas the other ones you could put on rail, rail, and then cover. This one you had to assemble the whole thing off. off we had to put it in the grass over here and then we had to do other things. It took two of us to put it up onto the bed. I think it weighs like 80 pounds. It might even weigh like 100 pounds. Just by looking at it, it's definitely the more sleek version. It looks really, really good. It almost looks like it could come from the factory like this. Like it'd be a factory option to have a cover. Uh, and the cool part about this one here too is it's got a lock on it and a key. So it's definitely the most secure, the most anti-theft proof of them all. And once you unlock it, you push this button, it pops up. You can either slide it off right now or we're just going to put the tailgate down here to show you guys how it works. So that's what it would look like if it was locked. And then you push the button up top. It unlocks both sides. Just push it back like that. It'll stop anywhere. You can adjust these tracks like in or out to get the alignment right. We have it so it's a little more snug so it stops right now anywhere I put it. So I can just have it there and it'll, it'll pretty much stop. So if I want to have it, the cover halfway, I come over here and I lock it like that. And now it's not gonna go anywhere. You can drive with the tonneau cover halfway, all the way, quarter of the way, doesn't matter. It's, it will literally lock in any position. So when you pull it back, that's the farthest it goes. That is a little bit of a, um, I guess a, a negative side to it. And you can see better from this angle, you can't really put much under here. I mean, it, it covers probably almost a foot. You can see where the bottom of this is and that's gonna be there the whole time. There's a film on here that I haven't ripped off. That's what this is. So you peel that off and then this thing will, this thing will guard the, uh, the rolled up portion of the cover. Like I said, if you are using your entire truck bed, you can't really utilize that, that section there. When you wanna close it, just pull it all the way closed and lock it. And that's that. The weather stripping seals really nicely all the way up to the front here. It's got a wet piece of weather stripping all the way under here. It's got a nice weather stripping like pad. I think this one probably seals the best as far as weather conditions and water. And then when you close the bed, you can see there's a piece of stripping right here. It closes nicely on there. 
It uh, definitely takes the longest to install and you're gonna need at least two people to do it. If you're really looking to utilize a tonneau cover like all the time, like if you're using one daily for whatever, maybe this is the option you wanna go with, especially since you can lock it. So if you have anything valuable in here, you know, you lock your cover. And this does also allow access to the hand uh, the hand grips so you can get up on the bed too. So that's nice that it doesn't cover the entire side of the bed. It does also come with uh, tubes like the previous one that you can have for water drainage on the rail. Other than that, there's not really much to say. I mean, it's it's what you see is what you get and it's a really nice piece for sure. So with that being said, we're going to take a look at all three of the different covers that we installed today. And I'm gonna kind of give my opinion on what I think is the best uh, for myself. Alrighty guys, so is it going to be Tanu cover number one, Tanu cover number two, or is it Tanu cover number three? So in conclusion with uh, installing and reviewing all three of these Tanu covers, for my personal use, I think the second one was the best, the mid-grade level model, the Gator FX, only because when I put certain things in the bed, with the more expensive version Tanu cover, I can't put my mini bike in fully because part of that cover sticks out and kind of like takes up a bit of the front of the bed. The second one, that one is nice because I can completely fold it up and put it on the back of the uh, glass. So when I'm towing a trailer, I would do that. I mean, I wouldn't really see out the rear anyways. I'd just see a trailer. So it doesn't matter to me that that cover kind of blocks my view back there. So for me, I like the hard cover. I think it looks better. It's definitely more um, resistant than like the soft vinyl one. And I, like I said, for my use, for what I would use it for, I think I would rather have the mid-grade model. I can't really justify spending all that money for the most expensive one, maybe because I'm not using it on a daily basis, but as far as like the cheapest option, like that's still nice. That the entry level model is is really nice for what you get. I mean, it's the easiest one to install. Like, like I said, literally five minutes it took me to install that thing. So I think as far as that goes, that'd probably be my second choice. And honestly, the more expensive option would probably be my third choice only because it's hard for me to justify spending that much for my usage. If I used it every day and I was putting things in there that were valuable, that I didn't want stolen, I probably would go with that option only because that's the best of the three. But this really just goes to show you how different and how many tonneau covers are out there. So if you guys are in the market for a tonneau cover, probably while you're watching this video, go check out realtruck.com and you can see all the different tonneau covers you can price out your own see which one is best suited for you and what you're going to use it for on your truck and if you're looking for other truck accessories pretty much anything truck that is where you're going to find it on realtruck.com so i want to give a special thanks again and a shout out to real truck for providing me with three different tonneau covers to review for you guys let me know what you guys think below in the comments which is your favorite and which one you would get also stay tuned for the next video on the truck central youtube channel if you enjoyed this video make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up make sure to hit that subscribe button stay tuned for more truck content and as always have a great day